you're looking for fast, cheap, reliable mug coins, make sure to check out buymugcoins.com. Link in the description. Use code CK for 10% off. Welcome back, you guys. It's boy CK. Now, can someone please explain to me why the Lions let Eric Ebron go to the Colts? I think it's tripping. I thought this dude was going to be an amazing player for them in the next couple years. And they just let him go, man. It doesn't make sense to me. Colts got a very nice player. Not to mention, they let Tahir Whitehead go to the Raiders, a team that already has Khalil Mack. Definitely a nice signing for them, but I don't understand what the Lions are doing. However, they did pick up LeGarrette Blount. Blunt, so that's a step in the right direction. I can tell you firsthand, Blunt was a very nice player to watch, and uh, he always keeps on fighting for every single yard, so I like that pickup for Detroit. Now that we got that out the way, let's look at their roster as it's currently constructed. Matthew Stafford, one of the highest paid players in the NFL. Now they're going to be adding Blunt to a running back duo of Theo Riddick and Amir Abdullah, so that could be pretty good. Wide receiver though, they could use one more person in this position, man. Golden Tate the third and Marvin Jones Jr very nice duo of wide receivers but as i said one more and then we're talking now they may have lost eric ebron but they did replace him with two guys luke wilson who used to be on the seahawks and also michael roberts now on to the defense they made a few changes they still have anthony zettel they still have ziggy ansa but haloti nada is no longer on the team instead they have d tackle sylvester williams also devon Kennard coming over from the new york giants however the best part of their defense has to be the secondary darius big play slay he ain't going nowhere not to mention glover quinn 91 overall so hey if there's one place lions fans can feel good about it's the secondary <laughs> we're going up against the high octane offense of the atlanta falcons definitely not going to be an easy task stopping them gotta worry about so many guys on their offense nice stop right there though and we also got to talk about some more nfl news the jaguars making moves they got austin Safarian jenkins and dante moncrief from the colts man both of those moves could help them tremendously man Blake Bortles was definitely gonna miss some you know talent with Alan Hearns leaving and uh Alan Robinson leaving so I definitely really like those additions for the Jaguars as my opponent is running tight and angle every single play and man it's so annoying do you not have any plays in your playbook like think of your own plays be creative sir what are you doing with your life, man? He's going to halfback stretch right here. He's going to pick up the first down with Tevin Coleman. Not to mention the Tennessee Titans are making moves as well, man. They got Deion Lewis. They got Malcolm Butler. Like, oh my goodness. They, they, they really want to compete next year, man. I'm proud of them. Maybe Malcolm Butler wants to seek some revenge on the Patriots. You never know what could happen. Once again, running this tight end angle, bro. He has no other plays in his playbook. I'm convinced. This is really pathetic, man. I thought we left this in, in October, November, when people really didn't know any other plays in the game. But no, he's still running this deuce close is the only thing he knows go get him do not let matt ryan get the first down fourth down coming up baby we're gonna send the heat i have a feeling he's gonna try to run the ball let's go baby i knew it i knew it baby did we get the stop we did not get the stop bro this game be cheating sometimes i swear we had him dead to rights but somehow they gave him the first down he's gonna run 0-1 trap once again to here whitehead that's who y'all got rid of bro this dude's a problem i don't understand the lions uh methods but uh hey we'll see what happens devon Kennard definitely a nice pickup i could see him doing good things for them what does he have open no way i was there finally i can go at my own pace because i now have the ball on offense first and 10 we gonna start off with running the ball right up the gut baby look at theo riddick getting us a nice game some more nfl news as we approach this third and two josh Sitton is no longer on the chicago bears he is now switching conferences and going to the miami dolphins uh they definitely feel like improving in the afc as we try to go for the first down and we can't get it you already know man if my opponent goes for it on fourth down i like to repay them the favor Bruh. yes neutral zone infraction first down so we caught a nice little break right there keep the chains moving now we have a First and 10, might as well sling the rock. Okay, who do we have open? X go field, damn it, square, I see you. Golden Tate dropping the ball. You gotta be better than that, bro. I feel like this has to be one of the most underrated signings that nobody's talking about. John Brown, who was an animal a couple of years ago, and then he had, you know, injury problems and whatnot. He's going to the Ravens. So actually, they're trying to help out Joe Flacco just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Circle wide open. Everyone's dropping the ball. What is going on? But yeah, man, after losing Mike Wallace, the Ravens now have Crabtree and John Brown. I think that's a huge improvement, man. People are not talking about the Ravens enough. Anyways, third and 10 needs somebody to step up and catch the ball for once just once man oh my we can't even throw the ball now i don't know why but something is telling me to go for it right here and you know what i feel like doing that let's go to run the jungle i must be a lion or be a cheetah but neither is fine don't want to hurt my dear love of my life Bambi, Bambi. Let's go, bait. 
Oh my god, he dropped it. Three throws right on the money by Matthew Stafford, and his receivers are doing him no favors, man. That really sucks, because now we have to go against this deuce close bum running the same formation every single play. It's so annoying. Bro, like, are you serious? This guy is an absolute bum, man. Running the same formation every single play. How does it not get tiring? I have no idea. Oh, God. Finally, somebody steps up. Ziggy Ansa with the huge pick. Sticking in the AFC, we gotta talk about Preston Brown, the guy who led the NFL in tackles last year. Going to the Cincinnati Bengals. I think that's the first move they've made, or at least the first move I've heard of. There we go, Eric Ebron getting us the first down. Not to mention that 15 yard face mess, but we did take a sack on first down. Now we're in second and 13, right around midfield. Let's go, nice block right there. Theo Riddick gonna get close to the first down, still on his feet. I need points on on this drive this guy is not good he runs the same play on offense every single time the signs of a bum let's go amir abdullah found his blockers getting the first down then some amir i remember this play was very very good and i think it was madden 16 maybe madden 15 the five six trap i used to run this all the time man the blocks usually are amazing this time not so much but another face mask thank you looks like he's not going to be ready for the run right here so theo riddick should be able to get something going look at the blocks baby that's what i'm talking about tie ball game less than two minutes left in this first half we do get ball starting in the second half so all we need to do is start making some plays no way glover quinn why aren't you putting your hands up that's literally all you had to do this is really bad that one play can be this effective i thought this man had fixed that somehow maybe i'm just that trash that i can't stop tight and angle i have no idea man the play action works Fight. no it doesn't baby nevin lawson humongous interception oh my goodness he came out of nowhere that's what i'm talking about Get out of that nut ass formation, bro. It's time to put respect on the Detroit Lions defense. We got the lead. I need your help, man. Somehow this dude keeps on moving the ball with freaking tight end angle, bro. It's getting me mad. It's really making me mad. I can't even lie. There we go. Nice tackle to here, Whitehead. But still, it's like he throws it underneath. Then I have to worry about the underneath routes. And then he throws it to the corner routes. I have to worry about the corner route. Like, there's so many things to worry about. It's really frustrating. And uh, this time he's going underneath. Quandre Diggs tackles him inbounds, makes him use a timeout. This is probably the most successful we've been in terms of, you know, trying to combat this. This time he's going to try to go to the outside. Nothing's open, baby. No way. Come on, Lawson. You better than this. I'm running cover four. I'm protecting outside. I don't really know what else I could do. It is really frustrating, man. Not even going to lie. Now he's going to bench. Is this bench? It is. It is. He's going to scramble out. No way. Bro, this dude's literally just standing there. Put your hands up one time. Good news is we do have the ball to start the second half in a tie ball game. Not really happy at the way that first half ended, man. I thought we could have gotten a stop. Anyways, let's focus on some positive vibrations, baby. Theo Riddick, definitely not off to a bad start in this game. Seven rushes for 38 yards. I feel like we can get him going just a little bit more, you know, to open up the passing game. Going to the halfback stretch to the right side. Come on, Theo Riddick. Damn it. Sometimes when your offense ain't working the way you want it to, you just got to realize that the defense is not half bad man falcons have some playmakers third and four let's work on getting this first down baby come on somebody get open x i see you let's go eric ebron way to break off that route speaking of playmakers muhammad wilkerson is going to the green bay Packers. i know he had like a down year last year but he has a lot of talent man i'm telling you that's a very nice signing for the packers theo riddick getting another first down we just got another encroachment penalty on third and ten so that makes it third and five much more manageable i'm going for the fake hike again here we go we got this boys we got this nobody's open nobody is open come on triangle wide open no i should have thrown it earlier luckily i trust my kicker to make this with ease so we should at least have a three-point lead this is huge man third and seven once again you already know what formation he's in gonna use your glover quinn is this tight and angle no it's not it's bench he's running bench and he has someone wide open damn <gasps> fumble pick bro you're trash how you kick it out of bounds man all you had to do was pick it up wow now he can pretty much just run the clock out and pound the rock oh he's actually gonna pass it though why would you pass it you're trash delete your game bro you're garbage bro i gave him the game and he just gave it right back to me i don't know what's going on but i'm not mad about it man a few more first downs and we win pretty much that simple do not fumble this ball theo riddick i need you to get me a couple more first downs this play is going to a player who's not currently on the detroit lions eric ebron gonna get the carry right here the fullback belly i believe that's what this play is called look at that 
baby why would you get rid of a guy who can do this for you man look at him fight and that's gonna be the game right there hopefully you guys enjoyed it i came away with the w with the detroit lions also do not forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed it and do not forget to subscribe <laughs> And as for me, gotta run when I hit a bird call. Damn, hop in that thing and murk off, swerve off.